And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very familiar scene. As you can see now, I am Femshep, the reason for that. Um, I couldn't seem to find my Shepherd file I used for playing when I first played Mass Effect, so sorry. But don't worry, uh, not, not much has changed between the two. Uh, I think actually the, the effect of military, if anything, the effect of military strength is actually a little higher now. And I can't shoot and talk at the same time, apparently. Well, which is fine, it gives me a delay here. So, like I was saying, playing as Femshep. Um, today, as in June 26, 2012, the new free Mass Effect 3 extended D cut DLC has been released. With, you know, new cutscenes and shit near the end, I'm assuming only I'm assuming only near the end. I haven't really read much about it. Um, it actually just kind of became news to me through, uh, through various comments and such. But what I'm going to do, though, is I'm pretty much going to go from here again, just to do as an intro. And I'm just going to pretty much show any of the new stuff. Like, I'm not going to show everything, but I'm going to show just some of the new stuff, and then maybe at the end we'll talk about it. But I'll see how I cut this up all together later. You up here too? Here to be processed. Goddamn abomination. Uh, I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and talk over them. So, the troops don't go on forever. That, uh, but where the hell this is a pretty much yeah. redundant conversation. Here. Doesn't look like any. But, like, that whole thing, like, down. showing me popping out of the, the portal and some of the little, like, extra split second scenes. Anderson. Like, this thing picking up a helmet or whatever. It's pretty much, that's like a little bit. Also, that whole cutscene beforehand was one of the, was one of the new scenes as well. But again, what I'm going to do, pretty much, I don't think there should be anything different here. 
Again, by the way, I'm doing this blind. I actually have no idea... Excuse me, I have no idea... Um, what's, you know, different in terms of dialogue or... See something up ahead. Or whatnot, so... Might be a way to cross over. Like I said, this is all brand Don't new to me. Don't get too far ahead of me. But what I am gonna do, though, because this is a very, very long walk... I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this oh, if... If the dialogue is different, if anything's different, then obviously I'll record it. If not, then, well, I'll see you whenever something new happens. I'm just gonna go on. to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. The solution to what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life. Storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without, Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but... What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. <laughs> the Reapers. Precisely. By the way, uh, yeah, these are all, or at least on the left side here, these are new choices. Yeah. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. And what happened to your creators? They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before. 
But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it, to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. 
How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. You will no longer be organic. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Uh, alright, can I... No, of course I can't. Alright, so yeah, this is it once again. Um, actually, I'm gonna keep all of that, just because... Um, even the final dialogue with this little bastard here, he actually... A lot of different was said, also there were those, um... What I call explanation options, the options on the left. Also, there were the quote-unquote renegade options as well. Um, I'm gonna do exactly what I did last time. Actually, this will probably be the end of this video. What I am gonna do, though, is the same thing I did before. First, I'm gonna do the synthesis ending. And then I'm going to do the uh, control ending, and then I will do the destroy ending once again. So think of it as the three endings, or endings times three version 2.0. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that all now, and I'm going to shut up.